Hey, 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 good morning, good morning. I am back with you. This is Dr. Yonette, and I am going through my daily skincare regimen and having a little chit chat with you today. So today I want us to talk about anger. What do you think about anger? What has your experience been about anger, around anger? You know, think back. Think back of one of your experiences growing up when you were really, really angry and what it drove you to do or to say. Uh, let's see if I can remember one I want to share at this time. I guess there are many because... I came from a very, I come from a very conservative family. We tend to just keep our anger within ourselves. We bottle it up instead of sharing it or talking about it. And if I can remember an, an incident that happened at school that got me really angry, um, I think I'll share that one with you. And then I'll share one that happened at home. Now, when I was in elementary school, there was this guy who, little, little chap, little chap, because we were like in first grade, I would say maybe not more than third grade. I think I'm going to do a, a microdermabrasion this morning. Microdermabrasion and my cleanser together. Okay, so... My, my cleanser and I'm using it with a microdermabrasion. So this little chap, I don't know what was wrong with him, but he was fascinated with me. He forward, fo followed me around everywhere I went, everywhere. And I'm like, just leave me alone, leave me alone. And this particular day, he was following me around and I couldn't take any more of it. And I just got so upset. I grabbed him on his collar and I shook him and shook him and shook him and told him to stop bothering me. Well, I don't recall if he stopped after that incident, but I know I never got a chance to talk with him as an adult about those experiences because he moved away. And by the time I was in the same vicinity where he was, he had passed. So that was one of my childhood anger experiences that really did upset me. What has your childhood anger experiences been? Just from interacting with your peers. What got you so mad, so upset? that you just lost it. You went off the handle. And then you also thought that you deserve, you had a right to be so angry and upset. In terms of my family and being at home, I've had a lot of experiences that made me angry. And I can recall this one in particular that I had, and I've had this experience repeatedly because like I said earlier, I grew up in a conservative family. So we were not allowed to go out and out means outside of the house to different events, um, to activities that or events that included people who we were not familiar with, or we were not of the same gender. You know, you're young and you're trying to make sure that your children are protected. And we were, we were six girls. We are still six girls. But at the point when I was growing up, we were about five girls, you know, so these girls had to be protected by all costs. And so, one of the things I always craved for, okay, I think my face is dry. Let me do the pore minimizer, close up my pore. Yeah, so one of the things I always craved for was the opportunity to go out. There was Mayfair, 
There were there were soccer games. There were social social activities, and I did not get to go because I was not of the age. You have to be a certain age to be able to go to these activities, these events. And I would get so mad because, you know, my other sister before me, she was of age and she did not want to go. She'd sit in a corner with a book and read all day. Me, I wanted to go out and I did not get to go. And so when I went and asked for the opportunity to go out, I was told no, I ended up getting angry. And how did I show my anger? I would sit down wherever I was and I would start to cry. And I would cry, not cry. Event At first I started crying because I was disappointed. I didn't have a chance to go. But then that wasn't working. My parents weren't hearing my cry. It wasn't going to change them. And I should say my mom in particular wasn't going to change her. She said no, and it was no. So I developed this plan that my cry was going to be so bad. It was going to be so bad that it was going to irritate her. So I started screaming. And I would scream at the top of my voice. I'd scream, scream, scream. And then I'd move into a cough as though I was choking. That's my day cream to moisturize my face. I'd move into a cough as though I was choking. And then let me do some wrinkle filler. Yeah, like if I was choking and then I'd move on to like stomping my feet. And when I got to the point where I was stomping my feet, that was irritating. And my mom would come to the room and the rest, you don't want to hear about it. But you know, that's how I expressed my anger. And I did that repeatedly because I was in the situation. I was in a situation where you know, nothing I said, no matter of, no amount of negotiation changed the situation for me. You weren't of the age and you can't go. And I think I got so many can't go that I am putting on my CC cream that I, you know, I just had it. It was too much. So I would find this device, this plan of crying and showing my anger to the point of irritating, irritating my mom. Did it work? It didn't work, but I had a way to release my anger. And um, scientists are saying that anger that you can't express can really turn out into, to turn out to become a state of depression can lead to depression and people who are depressed have that anger button bottled up inside of them that they don't know how to bring out because they feel that at some point if they do that try my hands if they do that they're going to offend somebody and offend them you know a lot so they keep it but bottled up inside so back to you tell me tell me Tell me about your experiences with anger as a child, with a peer, a friend you played with in the neighborhood, or a friend from school. And then tell me about your experience about anger when it came to your, your family members or your parents. How did you deal with anger with your brother or sister or your mom or dad? And then as you are thinking about the story that you can share with us, tell me whether you think anger is appropriate. Do you think it's okay to be angry and to show that you're angry? And when you show your anger, 
Is it okay to show your anger in a constructive way or just let it burst out of you? There are lots and lots of, you know, abusive relationship where the guy or the girl get angry and they just let their anger go and do whatever they feel at that point to the person who is upsetting them. How do you take care of your anger? How do you deal with your anger when you get upset? Is it a situation where you get out of you all that you want to say, all that you want to say, but you do it in a calm, peaceful, rational way. And then when you get rid of that anger, that's it, you're done, right? You don't hold it in and keep carrying it, bottling it in and carrying it with you for day after day, year after year, and it goes on for an eternity. How do you deal with anger? Is, is it okay to get angry? That's the first question. If it's okay to get angry, should you just keep it bottled up or should it be a situation where you let it out? You let it out so that people can see or the person who you're angry with can see what you are feeling and feel what you are feeling. So they wouldn't do that again. Share with me your thoughts. I'd love to hear your experiences around anger. And then how did you, if you got yourself in a situation where you were so angry and your anger got you in trouble, how did you move beyond getting so angry that it's destructive in your life? I think that anger is appropriate. Everybody has that emotion, but the way you express it is also very, it's very important that you express it in a way that would be constructive. And it's also important that you express it. The good book says, be angry and sin not. So it's okay to express your anger. Don't keep it bottled up inside. Let it out. Let people know how you're feeling. Be constructive in sharing what you're feeling, sharing your anger. And let it out so you can free your spirit and you can move on. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you for sharing with me in this video this morning. And I wish you a great day.